Everyone to whom much was given, of him much will be required. Aragorn is not a female character. And you want to know what? That's not a bad thing. Not only is it not a bad thing, it is a very good thing. To Aragorn, much power is bestowed. Thus, tremendous responsibility is bestowed also. To men, great strength is given. It is their responsibility to use this strength for good. We live in a society that has decided that toxic masculinity exists. And we're somehow shocked when young men find the words of Andrew Tate inspiring. Aragorn embodies the golden standard of a man. He's a protector. He's selfless. He's brave. He's loyal. He is humble, he's powerful, and he is loving. Aragorn fulfills his responsibility as a Sildur's heir and as a man. His role in the Lord of the Rings cannot be substituted for a female. Nor can the role of men in our world be substituted for female. Let's check out some uh, scenes from the Lord of the Rings movies that extrapolate on my point. Humility. Aragorn realizes in this scene that Frodo will attempt to complete the quest of the ring alone. Whether Aragorn believes this is the best decision or not, he does nothing to force Frodo to do something against his will. He also realizes that he would not be strong enough to resist the will of the ring. He puts the greater good above his own interests and proceeds to fight like a hundred Urukai by himself to ensure Frodo's safety like an absolute boss. Aragorn fulfills his duty to be humble when he admits to his shortcomings. I would have gone with you to the end. Protector. It was Aragorn's task as a member of the Fellowship of the Ring to protect the Ring Bearer. When Boromir picks up the ring on the chain from the snow in this scene, Aragorn is prepared to defend Frodo and strike down Boromir should it be necessary. Had Boromir equipped the ring, there's little chance Aragorn would have contested with him in battle. But his duty to protect Frodo supersedes his odds of victory in this battle. It is the duty of a man to protect those in his charge, his wife and his child, regardless of his likelihood to prevail in battle. This is a man's duty because strength is given to him, and to whom much is given, much is expected. Loving! Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friend. The modern understanding of manhood is that it is at odds with love and emotion at large. That being a man entails perpetual stoicness and is therefore bad. The two are not at odds with each other, however. A romantic relationship demands that a man be willing and prepared to give his own life for his love. His strength and inability to be frequently shaken with emotion is the completion of an equation which also demands the role of a woman to produce the correct answer. For a man to relent Relinquish his responsibility as the unmovable protector in pursuit of providing emotional counsel would be to deprive a woman of her equally quintessential role in a romantic relationship. Part of Aragorn's motivation is obviously his love for Arwen. Aragorn must complete his duty as a Sildur's heir to rule Gondor and save Middle-earth. Were he not to succeed and Middle-earth were to fall into Sauron's control, his love for Arwen would be in vain, as the world as they know it would become in service to Sauron. Power. A man ought to be powerful. His power to accomplish great things is required for the flourishing of those he protects. A man should be powerful in his ability to provide food and shelter for his family. He should be powerful so as to physically defend the innocent from similarly powerful evildoers. It's important for men to be powerful because the forces of evil are powerful as well. Powerful evil cannot be hoped to be defeated with empathy. At the Battle of Helm's Deep, Saruman amassed an army of tens of thousands and sent them to lay siege on Rohan's city. In what reality would it have been a net gain to the kingdom of Rohan if Aragorn was a master of tactical empathy? Evil in all its power launched an attack on the free people of Rohan. It is required of Aragorn that he be an absolute savage. That he with all his strength and might smite evil from the face of Middle-earth. The day evil is deprived of its power, it will no longer be required of men that they be powerful. Until then, it is their duty to viciously oppose evil. Loyalty! A man's loyalty should be exclusive to his wife. Women are a valuable treasure, and it is immoral of a man to betray his wife's value because of another whammon. In fact, if he is swayed by the beauty of another, his moral capacity is weak. He values sparkly temporary pleasure above the loyalty of his wife. Aragorn's loyalty to Arwen is tested when he's out on his own, and Eowyn starts hitting on him hard. Aragorn eventually outright rejects her. I cannot give you what you see. But doing this made Aragorn even more respectable, because it was evident that his values are stronger than pretty girls. Thus, loyalty is a crucially important value of a man. Bravery! At the battle at the Black Gate, Aragorn embodies bravery to such an extent unrivaled by any fictional story ever written. It is determined that the best and only option to save Middle-earth is to draw out Sauron's army so that Frodo and Sauron might have safe passage to Mount Doom. Aragorn leads an army of the last men in Middle-earth to Sauron's front friggin' door. And this is not a fight that Gondor has any hope of winning. And as Sauron surrounds the men of Gondor and Rohan, Aragorn charges alone against the mightiest opposition. This moment is reminiscent 
of David versus Goliath. None in all the armies of Israel thought themselves a contender against the giant. But little David, with nothing more than a sling and a mixed stone, opposed the giant against all odds, because the Lord was with David. It's why this scene in The Return of the King is one of my favorite moments in all of cinematic history. Bravery is fighting a battle that you have no hope of winning, because it's the principle of the fight. Aragorn says, I don't care about the odds of winning. You shall be defeated or I will die trying. Bravery is especially an important attribute of men, because they don't have tremendous utility without this value. If a man is unwilling to bravely pursue what is good despite the odds, then he is a blade of grass simply blowing where the wind pushes. If a man doesn't bravely acquire power and use it for good, his efforts are wasted. If he does not protect the innocent and weak because the odds are against him, he's not much of a protector. Conclusion. Statistically, you are a man watching this video. There are many in this world that would like to cut you down for who you are and who you're meant to be. But the struggle is to be expected. You would not be a man if you faced no opposition. You are required to fulfill a purpose that women cannot fulfill, and they have their own purpose, which you cannot fulfill. Stare evil in its eyes and do not be moved. Stand for what's good. Be a mighty and powerful force.